Okay, New York. Now that the S-O-U-S-E is done away with, Professor Doolittle, the famous leader of the Philharmonic and Mount Organ Players of America, has said that if you want beautiful singing, tune in on our station. We now hear Miss Laura Screecham, a beautiful soprano, in an area from the Opera La Bum. Come, Billy. <laughs> We now hook up 228 stations, including the Grand Central and all points west, on our Follow the Green Line network, uh, thus bringing to all United States the world-renowned Professor Donita in an hour of famous recipes from Cook's Tours. This hour is sponsored by the Bicarbonate of Soda Corporation of America and uh, Walla Walla. Professor Donita's recipes are famous throughout the world and have been cooked in 17 different languages. He will now tell you how to broil stewed tripe. <laughs> Professor Donita. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. Now please stand with both feet in front of you, please, here together. Raise your right arm above your head and your left arm above your head at an angle of 45 degrees, please. Deep freely, deep, deep freely, close your mouth and say, ah, with me. Now count with me again. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We now take it to the Upper Cut Athletic Club, so in a second you will hear the voice of the bell and the sound of the announcer. Here we are at the ringside. Uh, now I'm going to turn the mic over to Philip McCann, who will tell you who's who and who's here. <laughs> well, I'm glad to talk to you tonight, radio audience. I just want to mention a few of the celebrities that are here tonight. I see right in front of me is Mrs. Stan Kupovich, president of the men's uh, children's uh, Boy Scouts. And again, right in back of me, if it will upon my soul, if it isn't Cross-Eyed Kelly, the famous gate crasher. You've heard of him, no doubt. <laughs> and right over to the right there, those those sorrowful boys, the crepe hangers, you know, Billy and Ernie, <laughs> with big broad smiles, you know. <laughs> and right next to them is Slim Andy, the notorious picket parker. She's wearing a string of be uh, beans uh, that is a, a present, I believe, from Barren Island. Or ah, there's the warning whistle. Now, in 15 minutes, you'll probably hear the, uh, the, the bell. I want to describe that. Uh, these fighters for you. Now, there's, uh, there's a big tall fellow with a lavender, and oh boy, <laughs> you should see his hair. This blonde, uh, well, it's kind of brown, and uh, he's tall, and uh, well, he's uh, a little bit short at that. Ah, oh, there we there we have the bell. Uh, the fighter's in the ring. He leads to the right. He's up, he's down. He's down, he's up. It's a rather a slow fight. The fans are dissatisfied. Seems to be a waltzing match instead of a fight. the bell, there's the bell, uh, ending the 25th and final round. We'll listen for the decision. Well, now, as you probably distinctly heard, the little fellow that I described to you lost by a neck. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take you back to our studio. We are back in the studio, and we take you now to the blue room of the Green Hotel, where you will be entertained by the Blah Blah Saloon Orchestra in bars of classical music. Shoot, Harry. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our entertainment for this evening and forever.